Another question which we could ask is, um, will we create a barrier to entry? Creation of a barrier to entry is always a good thing because what is a barrier to entry? A barrier to entry prevents competitors from coming into your industry. That is a good thing. Now, uh, let's take a garment uh, manufacturer, a, a manufacturer of uh, garments, uh, shirts and trousers and garments like that. Now, this garment manufacturer, if it decides to enter weaving so that they make the cloth themselves, the cloth that they use is made by them. Now, this gives them a particular edge which is difficult for a competitor to beat unless he also goes in for weaving. Okay? So, this is a vertical integration scheme which is good for the company. So, when we look at vertical integration schemes, we need to ask these kind of questions. We find, uh, we ask whether the uh, market for the final product is growing or is it declining. Take a uh, PC manufacturer, a personal computer, a desktop uh, computer manufacturer like HCL. Okay? Now, what is happening with desktop computers today? Slowly, the market for desktop computers, market for PCs is maturing and gradually it will decline because the market is shifting to mobile devices. It is shifting to smartphones, for instance. Right? Okay. In that event, is it good for the PC manufacturer, the desktop manufacturer, to make uh, chip boards, which is one product that goes into the desktop. No, it's not a good idea because the market for desktops itself is saturated and within the next 10 years will start uh, declining. In this event, why further invest in products into that market? Okay. So this is the vertical integration idea which is not good. Then, what about um, economies of scale? Okay. Let's say we have a book publisher like the Oxford uh, OUP, Oxford University you know, Press in India. It's a book publisher. Now, a book publisher entering printing, it doesn't do printing today. It uses other printers. Now, entering printing is a bad idea because it will be doing limited amount of printing and the costs of printing will be high. It makes much more sense for a publisher to use a regular printer who will print at a much lower rate. So this is the vertical integration idea which is not a good idea. So These are the kinds of questions that we need to ask if the strategic option that we are uh, going to choose is one of vertical integration. Now, suppose the strategic option that we are going to choose is one of uh, unrelated uh, diversification. You will recall um, in one of our earlier sessions where we had handled uh, unrelated diversification uh, it is the kind of thing that uh, ITC has done. ITC was initially into hotels and then from there it went into several other products like paper and consumer products, right? So, from tobacco to hotels to paper to consumer products is unrelated diversification. The question we need to ask is does it spread risk? Take uh, the example of a cement company. Okay? Now, for the cement company, 
what is the biggest uh, risk for the cement company? The biggest risk is that the housing market will flatten out. That the housing market will flatten out or will decline in the next uh, say two three years if for two three years the housing market declines then the cement manufacturer is affected suppose the cement manufacturer gets into housing finance the housing finance market is also dependent upon the uh, the same uh, customer behavior now customer behavior is going is unpredictable in that market therefore whether it is manufacturing cement or whether it is in housing finance it's both dependent on the same customer behavior and therefore it's not spreading risks at all therefore it's a bad idea okay let's look at uh, another uh, instance where um, we have a car component maker a car component maker let's say a uh, gear manufacturer a gear manufacturer for cars deciding to enter the manufacture of components for the railways okay is this a good idea now this is again unrelated uh, diversification because there is nothing really in common between these two but what we need to ask is this car man car component manufacturer entering a more profitable sector by going in for this diversification today he is in a car component manufacturing sector the car companies are his customers that's one kind of situation tomorrow the indian railways is going to be his customer now is it better to have the indian railways as a customer or to have car companies as customers i think the answer is obvious so here this is a, again a bad idea this vertical integration is a bad idea this unrelated uh, diversification is a bad idea now uh, another question to ask is is the present business unattractive see if the present business is not unattractive then why not invest more in the present business why go for unrelated diversification right so you have a tv manufacturer today okay if uh, he says that uh, he is considering a strategic option to make car electronic products is that a good idea that's again unrelated uh, diversification right uh, he is in the consumer products business he is planning to enter uh, car electronics okay uh, is that a good idea no it isn't because as a tv maker today he is uh, catering he is um, in a particular market which is a rapidly growing market and will continue to be a rapidly growing market for the foreseeable future in india with increasing numbers of people entering the consumption sector for tvs therefore to leave that and enter a market like the automobile market which is much more risky is not a good idea at all 